Alright guys, this video is to help anybody who's having issues with Skater XL with their controller being recognized, whether you're using an Xbox One controller, PS4, PS5, Xbox 360 even probably. Um, so uh, I was having issues right after I pretty much came back to play the game. It had been a while since I've played and what I realized is when I start the game up and I go to the start menu, I press start and it doesn't recognize my controller so I uh, finally found the the, uh, the fix and the, the fix is if you installed the VJoy device which is like a virtual controller or something like that I'll show you where you can find it um, you go to device manager okay and then you go to human interface devices if you have a VJoy device here it's being recognized in Steam as a controller and it's being recognized as the first input that Skater XL will read and it probably can give you a problem in any other game too so what you want to do is right click this and you want to hit disable I'll like right click the one above so you can see what I mean when it says disable for example disable device so that's what you're going to want to do with this you're going to right click it right here you're going to hit disable device and then you're going to restart your computer and then you can go into Steam big picture All right. And I know you've probably searched the forums and seen that people are telling you to turn both of these off and to turn this on. Well, that'll work too, but you can just keep both of these, right? And that'll make it so that you can still color your uh, your light your light bar color. Because if it's just generic, then you can't use your light bar color. But anyhow, you can have both of these checked off if you switch off on controllers. It's not a problem. And uh, yeah, then you want to go to skater XL manage game this you can have set to global so it recognizes your controller whether it's Xbox or PlayStation right do your thing and then just start the game and you should be good it'll recognize your controller so another way to uh, see if you have a VJoy device is going to programs and you'll see something down here that says VJoy device driver and you may have installed this just so that you can use um, like a, a game overlay uh, excuse me a controller overlay on Steam or something so I think I installed this when I needed it, like a fix for a um, on-screen controller overlay PS, PS5 controller overlay for my stream and uh, that was appearing here when you go to controller setting, settings, you would see another controller here and it would say VJoy device. So again, when I go into device manager and then I disable this, restart the computer, it doesn't appear here anymore. And some other forum said that you can do this one too. If that doesn't work, if you don't have a VJoy device, then your next bet could be to try uh, right here. There's only one HID compliant game controller. You can right click it, hit disable, restart your computer see if that works if that doesn't work I'd probably re-enable this but anyways uh, hope that helps man because I spent like a fucking night installing tons of mods and then was gonna return to the game and have a good time and no controller and anyways good luck guys alright I'm out